as you can hear in the background, the principal of North Lawndale College Prep is telling students to get to their third period exam. That must mean we're in a school. Is this a school? Yeah, it's a school. Crazy. Hey, what's up, people in youth media reporter land? Uh, this is Jeff McCarter here, uh, founder and executive director of Free Spirit Media, alongside... Hi, I'm Paris Brown. Youth media reporter is doing a special Chicago issue. And uh, as many of you know, Chicago has a vibrant youth media scene with fantastic organizations doing amazing work in all corners of the city in so many different contexts. And we're here to just talk a little bit about a context that Free Spirit Media has worked really hard to build, and that is the in-school model. I'm a senior in North Lawndale in my last days, and in the fall I'll be going to DePaul University majoring in journalism. And I love writing video, journalism, photography type stuff. So the in-school curriculum allows freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors to uh, actually produce films and earn school credit, elective credit. And so Paris, you've been in various versions of that mm -hmm. from the sophomore video production uh, elective where you did a lot of uh, PSA type work, another junior program where you did a lot of PSAs and some doc and now you've just done a senior project um, where you produced an amazing documentary. Uh, can you talk us through those experiences a little bit? I came to North Lawndale my sophomore year and they were like, what do you want to do, art, drama, video? I'm like, video? I never heard of video being in school. And I was like, video? Sounds cool. Um, I took the class, it was amazing. And then junior year, I really got into it. Even though I was scared of cameras, I never wanted to work with cameras. Um, I started editing and just fell in love with editing. And then my some of my junior year, I did Amoja, which is more movies, and we created a documentary about um, police in the North Lawndale community. And I got to edit again, which made me so excited. And um, I actually made the soundtrack for the documentary too. And then senior year, I did a documentary about domestic violence in the LGBT community, and I got to do camera work, which scared me a lot, but I feel really confident in it now. Um, I edited it and just thought of everything, and it was extremely hard, but now I look back and it's like the most beautiful thing ever. It's my baby, my everything, and I'm just happy to show it to anybody. I'm gonna take it back for the world. And if I didn't do all this stuff, I don't know what I would be doing. My high school career would have been extremely boring if I wasn't here, free spirit media, having a ball. So uh, Paris, that's really nice of you to say. I guess one of the things that people in the youth media community can relate to is that engaging young people is magical and it's so empowering to them as their voice develops and as their ability to express themselves through media and to reach an audience develops. I feel like schools should be incredibly uh, rich and wonderful places for students to want to come, to want to learn and express themselves. And while some of the core academic subject matter is critical, and we respect that, and we actually find some really amazing ways to partner with core academic subjects, such as English and social studies, I also feel like there's a huge value in giving young people a context to express themselves and to explore their ideas in a less traditional and, and more kind of artistic and multimedia and new media platform. And I think that would be really helpful to people who have dreams and goals but don't necessarily really look deep into them and then maybe put it on a back burner as a hobby instead of really going into something they love. 